Roots and I'm addressing the Billion Coin community. I want to go over a newspaper article that was uh, in the Sunday Sun, January 1st, 2017, in Nigeria. Uh, it's a, it basically talks about cryptocurrency, uh, Bitcoin, and also the Billion Coin. Uh, the article basically is uh, uh, entitled uh, NDIC CBN Consider Cryptocurrency. Uh, CBN is uh, Central Bank of Nigeria. So let me zoom in a little bit here so it's easier to see. So um, it's uh, by AO Along. Um, it starts uh, developed countries and indeed their developing counterparts have since begun to low the path of digital currency and Nigeria would not would no be left behind in the economic revolution which recently caught the attention of the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN cryptocurrency is a digital asset from blockchain technology designed to work as a medium of exchange using uh, cryptography as a secure transactions and to control the creation of additional units of currency. Cryptocurrencies are a subset of alternative currencies or specifically digital currencies. Following the economic revolution and quest to sustain the econo ec economy through advanced financial technology, uh, a new form of digital currency which encrypted technologies are used to regulate uh, the generation of units of a currency and verify the transfer of funds operating independently of a central bank needed to be introduced into the economy. As, as it is today, automatic teller machines, ATMs, for uh, cryptocurrencies have been launched in Canada, UK, Germany, South Korea, Brazil, India, etc. with the sole aim of uh, aiding banking uh, technology. A former deputy director of CBN and s senior uh, legislator, uh, legislator with the Department of uh, e Econo e Economics University of Lagos, Dr. Emmanuel Balogan, ex, uh, explained that e-payments have come to replace the traditional fiat money. In the first instant, digital currency or e-money is part of an e-payment system and e-payment is not uh, symbolic. It is not like uh, there is a coin that would serve as a medium of exchange. What it means is that a payment system that is gradually going to replace the fiat system through technological advancements uh, such that the buy buying is no longer going to be uh, based on hard currencies, it's, it's used for paying uh, payments for goods and services. It also implies that the demand for fiat money for payment systems would be significantly reduced. In a country like ours, which is fully reliant on hard currencies, the e-payment money would be of significant advantage to the Central Bank of Nigeria. It is not that CBN is just going into it, it is already a policy. A technology is based on what is called real-time gross settlement RTGS. This, uh, this time around you will have direct access to your account uh, irrespective of your bank and where it is located and, uh, and that is uh, why you can draw from your ATM card anytime and anywhere in the world. That's what we're talking about, Balogan said. Pursuant to seeking a similar technology development for our country's banking system, the CBN, with its means of exchange, including bank draft, promissory notes, checks, values, uh, treasury bills, bonds, may soon add digital currency to the existing 
fiat money having uh, table it for consideration. In a recent workshop for financial corresponding held in uh, Kaduna, uh, the uh, Magnang Oh, I'm sorry. Now, the managing director of Nigeria, uh, can't read it. Uh, maybe Deposit Insurance Corporation, Nigeria about Deposit Insurance Corporation. Can't read that either. Uh, a reported disclosed disclosed that the uh, NDIC under his watch and in. Uh, Conscious with, uh, well, I can't make out that word, with uh, CBN uh, has set up a committee to look into the trading of cryptocurrencies. The uh, NDIC boss said, on our part, we have constituted a committee together with the central bank to have uh, an in-depth study of its phenomenal uh, of this phenomena Bitcoin one of the cryptocurrencies we will look at this uh, uh, advances and adva disadvantages what is the means for the payment system and what it means for safety and security of customers we also uh, look at what is it means for money laundering anti-corruption crusades crime and a measurement of money for the economy but we need to do a lot of education to do this, and I'm calling you, media, to educate yourselves about this so you can educate the public. Abraham was also quoted to have aided, uh, added that a lot of Nigerians had already started patronizing digital currencies. It has started to creep in, and nobody can stop it in different economies in the world. Some central banks have adopted it and are seriously doing everything possible to bring, it, bring in these invisible products. The owners do not even need a central bank. They do not need a physical bank. If you are a subscriber, you uh, only know yourselves and they uh, and they give you a bit of the Bitcoin and some countries you can convert it to cash. You can make payments with, with, with it because it has been recognized in one of the famous ex-chiefs uh, executives of Barclays PLC, uh, Anthony Jerkins, has uh, joined the group's board of directors and he noted among the cryptocurrencies that exists today, the uh, Bitcoin is adjusted. Uh, uh, the, the Bitcoin is adjusted the pay setter for the cryptocurrencies uh, coins are going are talked about and another uh, in another lexicon. Let me read that again. Among the cryptocurrencies that exist today, the Bitcoin is. Uh, adjusted the pay setter for the cryptocurrency coins are talked about and another lexicon that comes to play is mining mining is a way of getting these coins and putting them up for sale digitally now it talks about the billion coin the billion coin is another cryptocurrency launched in march of last year reportedly opening uh, price was 0 0.001 and has gone up in value 5% ever since that day. Traders on TBC enjoyed a wide range of interest rates uh, according to their investments on the daily basis as the price of TBC appreciates. Uh, as targeted, the price of the coin soon uh, hits a billion dollars. Uh, trading on TBC, Bitcoin, Swiss coin, in dinar coin and other uh, digital, current, digital currencies happens peer to peer until the targeting uh, gets to millions and billions of investors is hit. TBC is now in Kringles. Kringles are the smallest change of TBC such that 
0.00001 TBCs equals one Kringle, hence the equivalent of one TBC is one million Kringles. Hey, actually, it's actually 100 million Kringles. They made a mistake there. According to one of the major investors in cryptocurrency in this country, uh, Persia uh, Agua, digital currency uh, in the country is here uh, to put an end to the into poverty while boasting uh, the different sectors uh, of the economy. Digital currency in Nigeria is the uh, is is the change we have been clamoring for. It will not only end poverty, it will also uh, end frustrations encountered in the uh, financial transactions in Nigeria. There's no uh, weekend, no public holiday, no uh, transfer limits. This will uh, also boost the commercial industry too. Agua said. Well, that's the, that's the whole article. Basically, it's, it is uh, showing that Nigeria is heading into using cryptocurrencies. They uh, recognize that it is a way that actually could bring Nigeria out of poverty. And TBC coin is there and is being used. And they also mentioned that it, it's not adopted by the masses yet. But they can see that, that is coming. And when it gets accepted by millions, that's when it'll be much easier to do an exchange of uh, the coins with everyone else because everybody has them. Everyone has an account. So this is just a, a very good sign that in Nigeria, we're looking at uh, the billion coin uh, leading. And, and from what I can tell, from the number of Nigerians that contact me from these videos that I've been doing, which is somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 30 people a day. Uh, that's amazing. The, the, uh, the, uh, Nigeria is now leading uh, TB, the TBC community. So uh, I will actually go through even another article, but I'm going to do them uh, separately uh, and break them up. And uh, I hope this helped everyone understand what's going on in Nigeria, and have a great day. Bye-bye.